Hey there, it's Maine Roses and I'm back in the kitchen again. Okay, I'm getting ready to go lay down as soon as I get this done. But I'm making um, chicken alfredo. I'm using a bottled alfredo sauce. And I'm gonna make just plain wheat spaghetti. And I'm gonna have it with a side of broccoli. Usually I make broccoli and chicken alfredo, but I might decide to do that, but I don't think so. Right now I'm getting the water. And I got the chicken tenders, so it'll be really easy, plain and simple to cook. All right, I got my water. I got a half a pan. I'm gonna put it right here on high, just to bring the temp up. I'm gonna give it a little shake of salt because you want your pasta seasoned. All right, I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of olive oil to the water so my spaghetti won't stick. And I've got the Greek olive oil. And just a little bit, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn the other burner on while I'm waiting for that to come up. So when that starts to come up, I'll get the other burner going. I'll put these other saucepans away. Now I'm going to take my chicken out of the package. I'm going to get my white meat board and a knife, and I'm going to cut these into chunks. This is about almost a pound of the chicken tenders. See, it's going to be very easy to cook. I'm going to put them on my meat board, and I'm going to give them a quick dice. This is going to be plain and simple, easy food. Just want to make sure the video is playing. I've done that before, believe me. Okay. I'm going to do it right on top of here so you can see it. Because that's going to come up to, well, actually, I don't think I will. I'm just going to show you the cut that I'm making. Then I'm going to take it back down. It's bite-sized pieces just like that. You know, before I've used these, but I don't want to fuss with time tonight because I don't feel good. So I'm doing bite-sized pieces. It'll be already cut and I won't have to worry about cutting it when it's in the meal. And it will cook much faster. So my water's coming up. You can see the little bubbles at the bottom of that. As soon as that other burner comes up, I'm going to slide it back there and get this chicken cooking. I'm going to put it in a saucepan, well, a fry pan, and I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, Greek olive oil to it. I'm going to season my chicken, and I'm going to cook it until it's almost done. It's pretty close to being done. Then I'm going to use the jaw sauce, and I'm going to put that in the pan with the chicken as my sp spaghetti is cooking and I'll probably wash off this broccoli and get this in a microwave bowl so I can steam the broccoli to have it as a side all right these are almost done I just want to make sure they're in bite-sized pieces so it doesn't take long that one there could be a little bit smaller all right I'm gonna leave my knife here and wash my hands I'll be right back with you all right I'm gonna take these turn the back one up to high I'm gonna move that I'm gonna bring out my fry pan all right I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pan and I'm gonna stir that chicken right in there couple drizzles, I would say two tablespoons. I'm going to leave my oil out in case I need it. I won't have to touch the chicken again, just slide it right into the pan, then season. A little bit of pepper. Actually a lot of pepper because pepper is good in this sauce. I've even done lobster alfredo. And it is delish. Okay, there's a lot of pepper in there. 
I'm going to bring both of them up to high because they were on medium high. Give that like once over with salt. Get me a spoon. Make sure these are all down there so they'll take no time. And while that's doing that, I'm going to get my broccoli or half my broccoli in a microwave bowl. that water comes up and it's a, it's a rapid boil, then I'm going to throw my pasta in and cook it until it's all done. Okay. Yeah, huge amount of broccoli. Huge. Let me put that to the stir. You want, like I said, you want this almost cooked. Because when it goes into the sauce, it's going to cook in the sauce for like a few minutes. So just about done. Get me out a knife so I can do my broccoli. I'm not going to need a whole lot for me and my husband. I'm going to wash all these before I microwave them. Just enough for me and him. Give it that a quick stir. And instead of using that sauce pan, I think that I'm going to, as soon as this is done, add my sauce weight to the fry pan. Because it's not going to matter. You're just heating the sauce up while the pasta cooks. Alright, I'm going to take it down to medium high. I know that isn't quite on because I got that big burner going, but I'm just going to get a small, another small head here. That will be just enough for me and my husband. Pop that in the microwave for like three minutes, and I'm going to chuck it. You're going to hear the microwave, and I'm sorry about that. The water's coming up. It's at the steam. I don't think I need any more oil. It's satin to brown out, but I don't I, I don't want to add no oil if I don't need it. Turn some of these pieces that are pink in color over. I'm gonna put a cover on them while this is finished cooking. So we can kind of steam it and cook it at the same time. Away. 
get my spaghetti fork. And I'm going to open my pasta. This is a whole box, but I don't think me and him will eat that. So I'm going to do half the box. And like I said, this is wheat. I thought I had some angel hair pasta in, but I, I'm hoping it's just wheat. This is excellent source of fiber, calcium, and vitamin D. It just says thin spaghetti ultimate pasta, but I think it looks wheat to me, so anyways. I'm going to put it in the water. I'm going to take another handful. Maybe one more. Just so my husband has enough food. Alright, I'm going to use my fork. I'm going to get it down in that hot water. And I'm going to give my chicken a quick stir. chicken made some juice because it was steaming so before that it was drying out because it didn't have a whole lot of olive oil so it's pretty awesome the good way to get your chicken done really quick is it close the heat all right I'm going to check my broccoli it's a nice green in color but I'm sure it's not done yet it's only been on three minutes no. I'm going to pop it back in for another two and then I'm going to check it. I'm going to get my husband to open up the jar sauce and I'm using the um, cheesy ragu plastic alfredo. Hon, can you open this please? on the burner. All right, get my pasta quick. A couple over here. I hope that's going to be enough. It kind of looks like it might be. When that chicken's almost done, I'm going to dump that sauce right in there. I'll look to see if I have any Parmesan. Usually I want fresh. But I think we still have the shake. I just don't know. Oh yeah, we got some Romano. So yeah, we got some Parmesan cheese, the shake. It's taking longer for the pasta. I should have started that as soon as I started the video. Everything else is coming together. Alright. Let me check my chicken here. Still not done. You can tell when you hit, you hit the chicken and it bounces right back. Almost though. So there's some pieces that are that are iffy. You go to touch them like that, they're iffy. But almost. So I'm gonna let them go for another two three minutes. Then we're gonna dump that sauce right on. Check the broccoli. Nope, still ain't done. All right, two more minutes. But it's a nice green in color. So that's approximately seven minutes on the microwave for that. So by the time that microwave beeps, that chicken's going to be ready for the sauce. And 
and I'm going to get me my tablespoon here so I can get it out of the jar. Now the broth is, is coming all gone now in, in the chicken, which I still think uh, another minute or two because some of them are still flimsy. You don't want to eat raw chicken, so I'd like this almost done before I add the sauce. But it's nice and golden in color. that microwave beats, then I'm going to pour the sauce on and it's getting ready to. My pasta is coming up now. So come on microwave. 15 seconds. I'm going to stop pouring it. I'm going to give it a quick toss in the, in the sauce and I'm going to turn the heat down and let it just cook right in that sauce. turn it down to medium low. Not between completely medium low. Between medium and medium low. And the pasta is boiling good. So everything should all come together at the same time. I actually should have kept the cover and turned this upside down. It probably would have been easier than me doing all this. If you've got a, six, uh, a thick sauce, you can add a little tiny bit of water to your jar and you can get the remainder. But I'm not, this is kind of a thin type of Alfredo, so I'm going to stay with this because I don't want to water it down. I'm going to add some fresh black pepper. I'm going to check my pasta and then I'm going to get, check the broccoli. I should, probably should have cooked the whole. This is what the color of the pasta looks like. It's a, um, like a brown color, so it has to be a wheat pasta. Like I said, I almost got angel here, but I have so much stock in the house. I didn't want to buy something we don't really need. So now we need to use up the stuff we do have. So I'm going to go check the broccoli. It's been steaming in the microwave, so I guess it still needs to be cooked. So now we're on nine minutes for the broccoli. Another two more minutes.
Well, instead of keeping you here, you kind of know what it's about. I'm going to wait till that pasta's cooked. I'm going to drain it. I'm going to put my pasta, my Alfredo and chicken on top. I might add the broccoli. I might have it as a side dish. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to keep you until this is done. So have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>